Yo, what up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're playing some show and tell. The new hotness. Is it hotness? It's not hotness. The new card from um, Murders at Karlov. Some people got together and like, you know what? Hey, look, I have a frog. I have a shark thing from the Simic. Let's look at them together. There's murders. Who cares about murders? Look, let me show you something cool. I have omniscience. Anyone in the game. So we're playing it's basically a combo deck. We brewed up on stream. Uh, the idea is to get omniscience into play. With show and tell, obviously you can, also, you can show and tell Atraxa. Show and tell is in Takar that says each player may put artifact, creature, enchantment, or land from their hand on the battlefield. While your opponent puts a little beta 1-1 one, one, or 2-2 two, two, or a, you know, a 3-3 three, three, or some stupid enchantment, you fucking put Atraxa with a strap on on and you bend, and you put on my in play. And you combo immediately, usually with Mastermind. Because once you have missions to play, you can dig pretty deeply with Atraxa. While you're digging, you're digging through your deck and through your opponents. Um, with Mastermind, you use Mastermind to get Mastermind. You use Second Mastermind to get Scholar of the Ages. You use that Scholar of the Ages to grow both Masterminds. Use one of the Masterminds to get Approach of the Second Sun. Cast Approach of the Second Sun. Use the other Mastermind to tutor, to tutor Approach from your main deck. Because that's your main deck. Because it goes to seven deep. It goes seven deep. This how far would you go? Like seven inches going into your into your opponents, and then you guys approach again. And instead of mooning them, you stun them. GG, good good game. This deck can win as early as turn two. It's really good. It's the best time of deck ever. Don't ever don't play anything else. This is the best. This is the most fun. GG, no re. Uh, come watch live some sometime or Twitch Twitch TV slash Aldrazi. Thanks, bit. Peace. They probably thought like the the blue green Surveil land. Doing more than it did. Hi. Can we just can we just run Stinger Show and Timeless now? And we can. But we also don't have Lotus Petal, Ancient Tomb, City of Traders. And we're on Storm. We can. Yes. Between City and Lotus, I mean, the whole point of Sneak Attack is to be able to Grizzle Brand and Lotus and keep going off, yeah? Also, show and telling Sneak Attack, we can try it. Try it. Bl try it. Don't listen to me. Don't let me stop you. You know? You gotta play more creatures. The, the problem is, like, we have no good creature. Like, we have Atraxa. We don't have Archon Cruelty. You know? We don't have Emrakul the Ounce Torn. So, the best thing to do is Atraxa. I, like, I don't know if it's worth it. How crucial is Simeon A for Stinger Show? I mean, that it's pretty important, I would say. Oh, Lord. Okay. You 
You can still do it though. Like, you can still do it. I just don't think it's good. I don't think it's better than this deck. Cause sneak is like slow, man. It's slow because it's not it's not it's not it's not even about the speed, it's about like the things you put into play. Right? And that's a Traxa. Like the best thing is Traxa, but usually like what's really what's really good is sneak. Like you're wasting a bunch of usually you're wasting a bunch of resources, and that's okay. That's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. Especially when you're putting into play Emrakul, because then you attack and they lose all the resources. But we don't have that. We don't have the Emrakul here either. You know. I'm gonna look for Born Upon the Wind first. Bam. <laughs> that was fast. That's what she said. Why is everyone asking me that? Don't you just guarantee win with approach and assemble without needing to get the whole combo out? Yes. Does it matter? Does it matter if I want to fucking pull up my whole fucking dick and just swing it around? Can I, can I do that? And win? I'm still winning, right? <laughs> like, like I, I, I just don't, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand, don't understand the logic. Like, Ollie, you won! But instead of attacking with all your creatures, you should have attacked with all your creatures and not cast a dispel before that. All your opponent was tapped out. You had seven damage on the board. Why'd you bolt them first before attacking? Dude, it doesn't matter. Just let me fucking do it. We're still in the same turn. We're still in the same fucking turn. They're still dying in the same goddamn turn. They're dead. Dead. D E D. D E D. Dead. No, there's no re. Well, maybe they know for a le le legit reason. No, there's no. no that I don't. If it, if it was because they don't know why, if it, if it was actually legit, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing. I'm doing. It, I'm doing it because I'm an autopilot. More than anything, like yes, I could do it. I could, I could, I could like take one step away. Honestly, I'm more, I'm more an autopilot than anything else. 
Greetings, traveler. Playing Busseji first. Okay, like that. I respect that. I mean, I guess, I guess you're just curious or just like saying like, I could, I could take one step shorter. Yes, but that like, but that kind of thing doesn't necessarily make, it's not a same error, right? Like if I were doing, if I were doing something messed up and yes, sure, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely open to feedback. Tell us to know I made error every, every other, every other play. And you know, honestly this time, today they've been right twice, which is, which is a lot more than average. I'm proud of them. Good job, chat. Found it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, do, you, do we think that would save you? Part two. Did they say you did that be say you chapter two? <clears throat> what are they doing right now? Is this showing me what they're doing? Is this showing me they're putting in forest in the play? Oh no, it doesn't show me. Oh, sorry. I knew, I knew that from. Never mind. I'm I'm being silly. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that from fucking <laughs> the commie. Never mind. Never mind. I'm being a silly goose. Discard a card. Wow, rude. I think I'm the lines of lands. Attracts is so fucking good, dude. She's so good. In case I didn't know. I'm comparing her to Grizzle Brand. She's just so much better. Grizzle brand, more like grizzled bitch. The tracks is definitely a top. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Tracks is a, a tracks is an orgies. He's a grand unifier. 
Definitely an orgy queen. Look at all of them all. They're like, they're like, mommy, please step on me. And she's like, shut up, bitch. Kiss my foot. <laughs> Are we gonna show until now? They killed her, but Atrocity got pawned by Titan administrators of the Lord, though. They killed her without putting a building on her. Bro, Atrocity got destroyed so easily. It's fucking bullshit. She got destroyed in a paragraph. Like, the Frixians are supposed to be these badass motherfuckers. And apparently, the fucking on Nuka Pena, they had angel dust. So apparently, to stop the Frixians from, from doing shit. Angel dust. Okay? So basically an angel walks by and just farts on the Frixians, they die. Props dust them. And that building falls off track and she dies. Fucking stupid. And that's when I stopped reading the lore. That's when I stopped reading the lore. Like, you know what, that's enough. They're like, oh, by the way, here are all these planeswalkers that got fucking completed. Ajani, complete. He's part robot now, but wait, wait. By the way, he's he's healed now. He's healed. How's he healed? He just is. Oh, Nissa, she's complete. Oh my God, Nissa's complete too. What the fuck? Wait, she's also healed. Oh my God, how'd she heal? I thought she was. I thought her, she was part robot. I thought they took her organs out and put robotic shit in there and put black oil instead of blood all over her body. How's she still alive? How? Fake news. Got here. I'm out of it. Over it. Like when you nerve when you, when you nerve a fun card that doesn't have a good a good win rate, like no. When you when you I feel like I feel like also when you when you cater to like win percent, you can't cater fully to like like uh, skill. Like if if a card is fun but it's not it's not it's not crushing, just let, let, let people play it. Let people play it. Sure, one 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 person will lose to it because it has RNG, and it'll just like shit on them because. You reduced your fucking emerald to zero, or whatever, whatever the fuck. But like, if it, if it's if it's not winning a lot, just let let people have fun. Your game has to be fun, right? It has to be fun. And RNG and, and, and believe it or not, RNG in games makes the game more fun. It's part of the reason why magic is fun. If magic was like fucking chess, no one no one would fucking like no one would enjoy magic. People enjoy the randomness. The problem is the companies always want to nerf things that are powered up. I agree. Power that shit up, dude. All right, that was not what I wanted. I wanted goddamn omniscience. I don't enjoy randomness because it comes to land. See, you don't enjoy it, or you tell yourself you don't enjoy it, but deep down you enjoy it. Deep down you enjoy it because the land system and opponent drawing, opponent drawing like shit, like drawing five lands in a row. It might be frustrating, but it's super fucking cool. It's super cool to be John Fink Finkel or Kai Bood because they fucking got, they fucking drew five lands in a row. You don't know that, right? But they did, and you, and you beat them. That feels fucking good. Bro, I screwed up with my third land drop. <laughs> even even just drawing much lands, drawing much lands. 
Magic literally has more RNG than you in the card game. I think it's hard to prove. I, like, I don't, I don't, I've never seen numbers on it, but I think it's hard, really hard to calculate how much RNG Magic has because every every deck is fucking different. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's that easy. Like someone, someone in here earlier was saying, um, oh, Marvel Snap has less RNG than Magic. It's like. Does it? Things like, I don't know. I don't know if it does or not. Like, yes, Marvel Snap. It might have, it might have less RNG because of the fucking, the, the, the game takes take six turns, but six, but more turns in magic allows for less variance, right? It allows for your opponent to fuck up more as well. So it's like this card does. Does it do anything? Fuck your... Stop responding to my goddamn omniscience. Nobody saves you. No more Titan of Industry. No more Age of Treachery, my shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Got him. But on top of that, like I, I feel like Marvel slap, Marvel slap, Marvel snap. There's a lot of things right. Like they're a fucking phone game too, right? They have cards that say shit or cool stuff when you play them. Like one card, like this one card could have a bunch of different arts. And cool shit, and cool, cool different stuff, and you can just buy it. Like the the people that spend money can just buy that shit, right? But for someone that's like low on money, you like, you know what? I just want the fucking base card. That's all I fucking want. Leave, let's leave me alone. You know. They also have Twitch drops, which is fucking nuts. Also, for Christmas, they had a whole fucking month where if you logged in, you got your dick sucked. Like you log in to get your dick sucked. Get, here's some gold. Here's some credits. Here's some fucking. Here's some. Here's some condoms. You know what magic gives you for logging in? For Christmas, you know what you got for Christmas? You probably don't even fucking remember. You, you, I remember because I'm a fucking streamer. You got 1,000 experience points. 1,000 experience points. Like what? Like what's even, what does that even mean? Like if you if you play enough, that means nothing for you. Because you fucking, you've done the fucking the goddamn pass anyways. It's so annoying, dude. I wish they would, they would just like put more in this fucking game. Help, help, help me help you. Arena. God damn it. I think we're fine. I don't fucking know. We're going to go again. Also, like, they have some of the shittiest, like, like Marvel Snap has like their, like their, their, their split system where they like make, a, you make a card shiny by playing with it enough. Which is kind of cool, right? Like, hey, I can make my card shiny by playing with it enough. Meanwhile, this is Maddox Foil. This is this is my foil card right here. Look at it. Like, it's depressing. Like, it, it just like this is me as a foil.
Whatever, dude. Like, even Pokemon does it right. Pokemon does it right. Actually. No, this one's foil. This is borderless. This one's borderless. It doesn't move. Right, this is borderless. This is foil. I don't know the difference is. There's, they're different though, somehow. Arena doesn't need to do that. Magic's already popular. Marvel's fucking popular too, man. You ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel? I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel after not playing since the fucking game came out. I don't know what the fuck was going on. There were fucking summon summons from fucking the goddamn summon deck. There were people summoning from their fucking deck, from their graveyard, that drew a card. Basically, you take like 10 steps to draw one extra card, then you summon from your fucking grandma's ass this fucking monster that says, Hey, you can't do anything because I summoned my thing first. And you're like, whoa, that's crazy. I want to summon shit, but I'm like, no, because if you if you do anything, you lose the game. If you breathe, you lose. Oh shit. Okay, what turn is it? Is it one or two? If it's if it's turn turn three, you're playing a bad deck. That's Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh is fucking crazy. Talking about you 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 talk about crazy shit. That's fucking Yu Gi Oh, man. Yu Gi Oh is fucking wild. Yu Gi Oh is fucking crazy. Yu Gi Oh. They have a card banned in Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. They, they have fucking div divinate. Oh my god. Pot of Greed is banned. You can't draw two cards. Because that because their cards are fucking insane. You can't draw two cards in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Fucking crazy. Alright. Also, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, I liked Yu-Gi-Oh when I played my seven colored fish, my La Jin, Mystical Genie in the fucking lamp, and that attack. And the best card, and the best fucking card was a goddamn thing called Mechanical Chaser. Why was it the best card? Because it's 50 more power. Simple times. Simple fucking times, okay? Now it's fucking, you with a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card, it's like a goddamn, like, what? Mr. Allen, thank you for the five fucking subs. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for, for thank you for letting me use use it all for therapy. I'm just fucking ranting today. Let me get the tracks are here. No. Ah. Uh, I think so. I think so. Give him, a, give him a little snacky snack. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. We were slightly streaming. I'm pretty sure Probe went live. And the thing is, like, with Yu Gi Oh! Like, Magic. So, in Magic, the cards. Also, Mr. Allen, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it, by the way. I don't, I'm not sure if I said it, I said it enough earlier, but thank you. In Magic, the, there's a structure of rules. And very few cards break the rules. Like, Platinum Angel break the rule and say, Hey, your opponent can win the game, but you can win the game. Fucking in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's traps cards, there's magic, there's sorcery cards, there's creatures. And the fucking cards make the rules. They say, you can do this, you can't do that, you can do this, you can't do that. You can't look this way, you can't blink, you can't do that, you can't do this, you do that. I summon five times. I can always know what summon once, but I'll fusion dance with fucking... B Baki's asshole and summon this fucking monster that says if you breathe the wrong way, I'll destroy your whole deck. And it's like, okay Cool, I guess My screen just went black. I can't see shit now. What's going on? All right, it's back. I don't know what happened. I think I, I think I think my, my monitor's dying 
I think the monitor's dying. I just don't tell. It's fucking crazy, dude. I mean, they, okay, sure, sure, there's D-Link summons, but then there's, there's like, the, the peace summon, the propaganda summon. I don't know what it's called. It's like, it's a different kind of summon. There's all kinds of summons. Yeah, pendulum, pendulum summon. There's pendulum summon. There's, there's links summon. There's all kinds of fucking shit. wild in here you all I didn't play arena for some years and I want to return back good luck but what happened to all control decks oh no I don't like that mm, it's not cool There's all kind of real weird summons. I see all I have to control. I see there's control only and it runs zero counter spells. No, there's the, the, we were playing as per control yesterday. There's control. There's control decks. Hmm. Hmm. Fucking stupid. What, what does Sunfall and Farewell have to do with control? I don't understand. Please, please elaborate. Like, everyone talks about fucking... Everyone talk, fuck the ads, goddammit, dude. I gotta fucking control these ads. It's not telling me when they're coming up. I'll talk again when the ads fucking over. Mm. 
Okay. What up, insect? No, so I was, I was saying like, yeah. What 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 does Sunfall have to have, Sunfall have to do with, with farewell or with control? Like, people are, people people are online like, oh, ban Sunfall and farewell from standard ever. It's like, dude, the best decks in standard are all fucking creature decks. They're all creature decks. The only deck that plays fucking Sunfall that is tier one is domain control. That's it. If you want to ban Sunfall, whatever, then, then, then you'll just have a fucking aggro, just aggro mid range. And now there's a Boros deck that fucking kills you fast as fuck. So I, don't, I just don't understand. I don't understand the hate on. Uh, Try again. They're gonna, they're gonna court for Boromir. I'm not losing a fucking Boromir or anything else ever again. Born Upon the Wind is my fucking ride or die. If I, if I cast Mastermind first, I would have lost the game. Because they could have they could have fucking Boromir'd. Casting casting Mastermind for, for first is the correct way to lose the game though. If you want to lose the game. Mastermind could not be on the stack. Otherwise, they could have responded to it. I would have lost. I need them to respond to anything else. <clears throat> so I could Born Upon the Wind and then cast Mastermind. But yes, sorry. I'm in a heated mood. So if that came off, if that came off as harsh, it was not, not, not meant to be harsh. I'm just fucking... I'm an angry elf right now. Cause I'm ranting. I still think the best kind of rotation for standard is still leave, one leave, one enter. I mean, I like that too, honestly. Or just like, I don't like three years of one thing, though. I don't know, man. This card is a spicy fucking card. It's so spicy. Is there animation for winning like approach? No. Imagine if a sun came out and just like slapped the opponent in the face and be like, you lose, bitch. Can you imagine? No. All it is is the head explodes. Imagine if the behemoth like had some cool animation. Like it just fucking like stomps across the screen and stomps your and then like stomps your fucking rice ball and kills you. 
No, it just goes like every other fucking beast. They all make the same fucking noise. I could literally make the sound effects for fucking arena. Beast. Soldier. Ha! Human. Merfolk. Ornithopter. Come on, man. Those are just rare? Regardless. They were common. Originally. And what's crazy is like online doesn't mimic paper, right? Like if you want to, you can make fetch lands uncommon, <laughs> but you know, it's money. I wonder if secret lair sales are like dwindling. I feel like they're like, they, they used to be unique. But with so many coming out in and day out, like, realistically, how... Like, how good can they be? Or like, how, like, like how rare can they be, you know? They have to be? That's what you would think, because, like, I used to buy a couple of secret layers. I bought a couple of them. Now... I don't even like look at them. The only one I'll look at it, look at again is whenever they do. Um. If they do like what should we call it, uh, like Fallen Fantasy. Then I will do it again. I will like probably buy some. <clears throat> that was spicy. Turn three, yeah. Mm. Look at the magic cards and pull the unrequited those magic cards. I mean, I don't either. I think some of them are cool, though. I think the cost covers are cool, but some of them are like just way too crazy. To be fair, honestly, anytime I go sit down and play Magic, I don't see them that often, though. I don't see the crazy like. Then again, though, I don't play a lot of I don't play a lot of pair of Magic. Love the approach, action combo part of this deck. Yo, yeah, thanks, Ander. We made that combo fucking like two years ago. We played it. We played it with with well, Rainbow Lich. Actually, I think so we played it with. Back then it was Rainbow Lich. Was it Rainbow Lich? Maybe not Rainbow Lich. I can't remember when we first started playing that combo, but yeah. Mm-mm. 
Okay, well, Stone Brain doesn't do anything against us. I think they realized that is nothing against us because of the ley line. I love the cereal box art. <laughs> I mean, I, that's kind of cute though. Like Ulamog eating the cereal or whatever, that, that, that art. <laughs> With a little blue little hat hat thing. You can wear it? Can wear it on stream for them? Chad, this is what Kelsey wears whenever she's walking around the house after streaming. What is this? Okay. Yeah, like this. I'm going to behind your neck. I'm going to go behind my neck. Yeah, like all the way over and then down. Like this? Yeah, but the bow needs to be at the front. Exactly like that. The bow needs to be. Oh, like this. <laughs> when you're doing your makeup, you don't hair on your face. Oh, so I'm doing makeup? So I'm hair on my face? Yeah. You're beautiful. Oh, look. You look beautiful. Look beautiful. Yeah, put your headphones on for the back. Alright. You look so beautiful. Look beautiful? Yeah. Thank you. You love me. You think I'm beautiful? Yeah. Yeah? You should wear that all the time. You should wear all the time? Yeah. Wow, thank you. You look really good. Look good? Yeah. Wow. You just need some mascara. Oh, no, no, no makeup, please. But you look good like that. Putting makeup on is kind of gay, Kelsey. We're not doing that. Alright, this is my this is my scheme with this deck. This deck's really powerful, but I'm kinda tired of playing it. I wanna I kinda wanna kinda wanna I, I wanna try playing Villainous Wealth or Doppelgang in standard. I'll probably lose a lot. Is that Luris? Hmm. I really want Leyline though. Oh nice, my wife is bisexual also. Too bad I am not. It's fine, I'm gonna be bisexual. Interesting. I'll try this, I guess. <clears throat> I'm also by myself. Nice. It's weird being by. Not weird, in a bad way, but like, I will sometimes just like randomly just start craving, you know, but I'll put the fuck off. I should, I should mulligan the Always mulligan dick, yes, dick. Always mulligan the fucking thought sees chat. Not thought sees, mulligan the fucking. <sighs> so stupid. Ley line. I'm straight, but I wish I was bi. It must be so fucking fun. I mean, the sex stuff is fun, but like, <clears throat> I feel like growing up bi is a little rough. Probably not as rough as being gay, but like, the gays don't accept you, straight people don't accept you, everyone thinks you're a fucking hoe. They're not necessarily wrong, but, you know, it's not nice. <laughs> Aren't I what a hoe? No, not really. Kelsey, like, I don't have a, I don't have a. I like to have a lot of sex with the same people. I don't have like a high body count though, as far as like different, different, different kind of partners. I do enjoy, I do enjoy sex just with with like the same people. Need black. Oh my god. Hmm. 
That's good, yeah. Mm. Pick my show and tell. I don't brainstorm, dude. I get that. A connection is more important, for sure. Connection is fun, but like, when someone gets you, especially, especially when you have kinks and shit. <laughs> what? But yeah. Borka Borka. Huh. They had blood me the first time, yeah. Let's get blue. Mm. This, is, this is on blue. What's, whoa, 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 what's this on? Blue, black, I guess. Water gray. Swim. Yikes. Okay. I guess we'll just pr protect <clears throat> show and tell in case they have like Anthosis as well. They don't. Okay. So we're going to assemble. Where Traxa? Omni. I feel like Omni is really risky. With Brainstorm. I think we go for Traxa. We do have Brainstorm now, but like, oh, no Traxa. Basic island in case they blood moon me. Traxa. I like the philosophical belief that we all, all start out as bi omni pan. And then different different limit are expanded over time. I don't know if that one that's true. I mean maybe it's true. I don't think it's true. What do I know though? I'm a humble human being. Rude. Because I feel like I feel like if if if, if factories if affected it, I feel like being bullied for being gay. Like you know what? I'm Omni or I'm bi, so I'll just focus on being straight instead, right? I don't think like I don't think uh, I think I think some some people, I think some people are, are just born gay, right? See what I'm saying? Like I don't like I don't think some people can just be like, oh well, I'm, I'm born Omni, whatever, blah 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 blah. Because some people like some people are born gay, and I, I promise they probably they probably wish they were, they weren't, because of all the shit they went through, especially in the past. It's better now, but it's still kind of sh it's still shitty. Mm -hmm. We 
Look at this art. This guy's like, hey, let me show you my frog. Hey, let me show you my shark frog. <laughs> okay. Where'd you besage you now? now though We gotta find Mastermind. That was game one? Jesus. Oh yeah, I think most straight people became that way due to suicidal and cultural pressures, not just bullying, but being exposed to things that lead you to certain attractions. But again, fuck if I really know. Hold up. Hold up! You didn't think? Maybe we just stop thinking and leave that to the fucking science people, okay? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> hold on. He said, I think most people have become that way due to suicidal norm and cultural pressures. I don't think so, dude. So, how, how, do, you think, how, how do, you think, do you think, do you think the same way about gay, about people, people, people being gay? Ollie, you're the best. This way suits you. Oh, this little blue thing? Thank you. I just kind of like the idea. Sorry, chat. P Kelsey's telling me, Kelsey sent me dick pics. I kind of like the idea that people are all the same. You like the idea that people are all the same? People, oh my God. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A nice little dream. I thought they blood mood me. Was that somebody else? I guess they didn't blood mood me. This, I guess my, the blood mood was somebody else, not them. We're definitely not the same. Dude, have you seen Twitter? Twitter will let you know we're, we're not the same. Everyone everyone hates each other. The internet, the internet you think like, we, we, we initially thought, hey, the internet's gonna make people, th people think and like get smarter. It made us fucking more assholes for each other behind a fucking screen. Like the, 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 internet, the age of technology, the age of internet was not like, and porn, a lot of porn, lots of porn. God, there's lots, a lot of porn.
leave the thing to the science people. Is that what I said? Yeah, I think I think I think I did say that. I think I did say that. That's a shit fucking draw. I don't want that draw. Oh, it matches my tank top. Thank you. Yeah, it's not nurture. It's definitely nature. All the other draws are two eight twenty four. What does that mean? Today's date. Oh, was there? Did you quote me? I don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm trying to play magic and. Oh, I see. Leave things with people. No! That's too early. Oh, it's fine. We have besides you. The idea people are all, the, are all the same, they're not, you know, nice Omni. Flex on command? No, YouTube video. Got it. What are we talking about? I forgot. I am the bowmaster. I thought our sexual orientation is a function of. <coughs> ah! I think I held a fly or a gnat or something. The fuck was that? <coughs> that was wild. Blue fetch, blue fetch. Thank you. That's the night I talked about earlier. I mean, I think it's, I, th I think it's gone. Has Twitch chat finally discovered the gay gene? Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Holy shit! This keeps this thing's, this thing's keeping my, making my head hot. 94% of giraffes participate in same-sex mounting. Is that gay? Yes. That's gay as fuck, honestly. All right, Ollie. What do you, Ollie, what do you call a guy who doesn't like men but finds certain trans people attractive? What do I call them? I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever. You like, you like what you like, man. I don't have to call you anything. We can still, we can still be bros. Minx and Boo. Minx and Boo. We will stomp out evil. We are large and in charge. I need that one. Chat, you don't have to call the main thing. You like what you like. It doesn't fucking matter. You, like, you, you don't have to label fucking everything. Okay? You don't have to label, you don't have to label it all. Who gives a shit? As long as you're happy and doing stuff with your partner, doing whatever the fuck you want, and you all have an agreement, and no one's hurting anybody else, like, who gives a shit what, the, what people call you what, and what you, what you are? What you, what you are. You're fucking human. That's what you are, okay? You're fucking human. <clears throat> or you're denser. Oh, we human? Oh, we're denser. Like that song. Remember the song? All right, I gotta find uh, show and tell. Hmm. Impressive. 
impressive. Hmm. Still scary though. Because they can boosage you. Right? Please don't be saging me, motherfucker. Alright. We'll take impulse. Ley line. Land. Uh, let's land, I guess. It doesn't matter. Let's land. Play it all scry one? Surveil one? Mm -mm. Don't want that. Don't care. Impulse. Ooh, Lorian Reveal is pretty good now, yeah? Break through time. Sleight of hand. <coughs> Born upon the wind. <coughs> Sleight of hand. I think we should take sleight of hand, honestly. I'll take this, actually, because this cast is one last. Cast. Florian. Cast one upon the wind, I think. Oh, there's no... It's fine. There's no... Uh, ooh, that's good, does it? My tutor. So our deck is useless if we don't have Omni on the board. Uh, it's kind of like saying opponent's, deck, opponent's deck is useless if they have no creatures on the board. Opponent's deck is also, you know, their deck is useless if they have no lands. Hmm. 